I recently did a poll in my YouTube page and I asked you what was your favorite Ableton instrument and the one that came up with the most votes was Wavetable. So as you know, Wavetable is a table that controls waves and these are sound waves these are audio waves basically and you have a bunch of different wave options in here and you can actually see the waveforms as you scroll through the wave selections that are available for each so the beauty of this is you can take any sample including your own vocal sample and bring it into the wavetable so for example we can take this beat here and just drag that into the wavetable and then we can start playing using the B as the source of the wave. But Ableton already have loads of shapes that you can use for the wavetable. So you can start say with basic shapes. And they're categorized into different groups. So you've got collection, distortion, filter, format. Let's go into retro here and try some different retro options like robotic. Most of them are going to sound pretty thin, but that's where the filter layer comes in. So you can use the filter to shape the sound a bit more. So I put some chords together so we can demonstrate how these work a bit more seamlessly. So for example, what we can do now is we can select one of the basic shapes and we can run through it as we're hearing our chords. So I like that sound there, but what we can do is we can further warp or fold the sound or change or detune the sound. What I'm going to do now is detune the sound. Let's fold a little bit. Folding is this edge here and we'll warp it a little bit. We can also reduce the volume here or we can change to left or right panning in the basic section. We can automate this position. So if we want, for example, just make it sound like that. You can see it moving like that. which is one way of doing it. We can use the mod matrix, which we'll check out in a second for automation. So let's now just change the frequency and the resonance of this sound. Let's select a different type of filter. We can check. We can select an OSR. Increase the drive. MS2 and select different shape filter. We can just switch it off all together. Now the beauty of this is we can actually select two filters and this just gives you an extra dimension in the sound design. You can see here the second one is number two so we can change the shape of that manually like that you can see those changing now i really like the mod matrix because the mod matrix is where the automation comes in and a bit of life can be breathed into the sound so for example we can start with mod source of lfo and LFO is currently moving pretty fast, but we can change the shape quite easily just by dragging the mouse. You can use different types of shape. We're gonna just start with the sine wave and we're going to go into the mod matrix and just change the pitch so we can hear the LFO affecting the pitch. So that's obviously a lot. So what we can do is slow down the LFO. Let's reduce that detune a little bit. So you can feel that kind of pitch moving very slowly throughout that sound. 
and we can further tune it by just reducing the amount of pitch that is affected here. So for example, if we now click frequency, we can apply the LFO to the frequency as well. So if we don't want to have the same shape for the frequency, we want to make it a bit faster. We can use LFO2 instead. As you can see, that's naturally going to be faster. We can use a square sine shape like that and go back into the matrix and use, double click that to remove it and just add a bit of LFO2 to the frequency filter. Let's just change that shape a bit. Let's go random actually. We can change the shape as well and the offset and the amount. In addition to that, what we can do is click on the triangle here and we can start changing the amp envelope and all these other selections quite easily and fast. Let's actually go into LFO2 and choose the sine wave again. change the amp so we get a slower attack time so you have a real fine-tuned defined type of control there we're going to add a second oscillator and this will be a different shape we'll just try a PW bass sound now let's put them together Let's move this one a bit to the left and the first one a bit to the right. It's getting a bit loud, so we're going to reduce that volume a bit. So you can hear the sort of the richness that you can get out of the wavetable and the amount of control, of course, because say, for example, you want to create a bass line. We can just click on mono there and, and there you go. We have an instant mono sound. And we can add a bit of glide to the mono sound to give it what well, glide. And we can add more layering using the unison. There's so many different layers here that we can use to spread the sound. So let's just start with the classic layering. So that's only three voices, but we can go all the way up to eight. And we can really spread the amount across here yeah, we'll double it so let's just go down and select the default voices and let's just listen to some of these other unison options because they're pretty good let's actually switch the mono off and we'll go to poly let's try a few others so we'll try noise these face sync and the position spread. Let's now try a couple more position spread. And lastly, we'll go to the random note. Now adding a reverb like this huge Valhalla vintage verb will give it a completely different feel. So this is without. And this is with. The other thing that's really cool is the MIDI assign mode. So for example, say we want to assign velocity to filter one frequency. 
So what we can do is we can say add about 20 here to the filter frequency. So if you play it softly, but if you press harder, you'll get more of the frequency come through. So you really have some incredible features there with MIDI and really your imagination is the limit here. So we can also apply mod matrix to the two envelopes that you get with Wavetable. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to have a slow attack time for this first envelope and we're going to reduce that release time. And then the second envelope will have a fast attack time. And once again, reduce the release there. And what we're going to do then is go into the matrix and for the frequency, we're going to go to envelope two. We're going to select 50%. So let's actually hear how everything sounds without the envelope on. Yep, that will do. So you can hear that slow attack, but eventually it goes up. And with envelope three, that's got a fast attack. So we'll just bring that to say 50%. So now we've got these two envelopes interlaying with each other. So let's get really creative. What I'm going to do is going to duplicate this wavetable so we don't lose the first one. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start modulating a few really interesting things. So let's start by modulating using LFO2, which is this one here. So we'll get LFO2 going like that. And we'll just change the rate to be a beat rate. So it's one over eighth. We'll have 100%. We'll change the shape to zero and offset to nothing like that. We're going to assign LFO2, which is just here, to the filter frequency. We'll just increase that slowly as we go. And let's hear how that sounds. Let's change the unison as we go. Now let's take mod source LFO1 and once again we'll change that to a beat of 1.6 here. And now let's assign that to the oscillator 2 position here. Add some reverb. So let's add an arpeggiator to the chords and we're going to increase the LFO2 level. So let's do that now. Let's change some of these basic shapes. We just change some of the mod matrix numbers here. We just change the oscillator to sound. So here we've got another wavetable and we're going to just start from scratch and try a different sound here. Let's get the LFO down a little bit in terms of speed. Now what we're going to do here is is 
add some shimmer. Just reduce the amount there. But we can also add the unison part, the shimmer amount to LFO2. And let's take mob source one being envelope. We'll just have a slow attack there. We'll just go to the matrix here. So I've now gone into envelope three and I've got a sharper attack, a bit of a smaller slope here. And we're gonna go into the matrix and change oscillator. This is oscillator one, position here, sorry, here under envelope three. So let's just add that in as we listen. Let's just change that envelope a little bit. So yeah, you can create some really beautiful sounds using Wavetable and your limit really is your imagination. What do you guys think of Wavetable?